And back again with me, Hendra. Uh, back again with a new video. Uh, so in this video, I will uh, share a story that involving this little guy. As you already know, this is a Raspberry Pi Zero, an awesome tiny little computer that basically you can make anything with this, and it's also quite cheap. Uh, when the Raspberry Pi first came out. Uh, I was learning so much stuff about computing, programming, and also Internet of Things, all those, all those <laughs> shenanigans about embedded software and embedded, embedded hardware. But also, uh, what made me realize that it's capable of doing some kind of emulation of retro game console, which is I love, of course. I love uh, playing uh, retro game up until now, and which kind of get me that I want to make my own Game Boy uh, for the Raspberry Pi, which is why I uh, I have these two parts, is which is already lying around for about three years, three or two years maybe. It's been a an on and off project uh, that I want to build uh, for the past two years or three years, I don't know, <laughs> I already forget about it. it the, the, basically, the, all, the, all the necessary components I already have, which is, uh, this is for the Pi Girl uh, from Adafruit. As you can see, I already have the Pi TFT screen. This is already, <laughs> have, I already have this for a long time. Also, I already have the uh, Pi Girl gamepad. But then I don't have time to work on it, and lately, uh, sorry, I, I don't have time to work on it. I'm uh, doing stuff with MicroPython, Arduino, and Internet of Things. So this project that I want to make got a little bit uh, off. So uh, for the past month, I've been trying to make this again. And I have a su su successful build uh, using these uh, three main components. I've already success to make a RetroPie running on these three parts, uh, what uh, what bugging me is uh, to print a case. Uh, I don't have uh, time for that. So, and then I uh, search for another option on YouTube, and then I found a guy called Thirty Two Teeth making a Game Boy Zero handheld edition. And fortunately, he is kind enough to share his PCB design uh, on GitHub. So that means I can print it on my own. I have a few voucher from uh, PCB way that I can use. So yeah, this is the PCB. Actually, the PCB is two piece. Uh, there's a bottom PCB and uh, uh, there's a top. This is the top PCB and also the bottom PCB for the back button. But I all only print the top because all the magic happens on the top PCBs. So yeah, this is. Uh, I'm not, uh, disclosure. I'm not. Uh, sponsored for uh, from the certificate or, or given the kit. I'm just sharing this because this is an awesome uh, console that you must try. And he is really kind enough to share his design for anybody else to make their own. Yeah, so yeah, basically this is the PCB of the Game Boy Zero handheld edition. There are, as you already know, there are already many various kind of Game Boy Zero kits out there. So uh, he makes another approach, which is basically you just need a PCB and then solder all the components, and then there you go. You you can uh, play all the games directly from the PCB. You don't need any case, any special case for that, which is something that I really like. As you will see, uh, of my previous Arduino console, I don't have a special case or a printed 3D printed case for that, and it's already good enough for me. So yeah, this is the PCB. And then I was happy enough with the PCB, and then came another problem, which is the screen. I cannot get the screen locally, which is a bummer. So I have to wait for another two weeks for the screen. I have to order it from the Aliexpress. I already have the button. I already have the Pi Zero. And after two weeks of waiting, here it is. <laughs> and the bad thing is I got it the wrong size. I got the wrong size. It's supposed to be 2.8 TFT LCD. I ordered a 2.4 LCD, but uh, I contacted 32 teeth uh, on Instagram uh, and I asked, uh, is it compatible with uh, 2.4? He said, yes, as long as 
it has the same 18 pins on the back of it. So that's what I do. And as you can see, this thing is works like a charm. You can see this is uh, running your basic uh, RetroPie on a on a handheld. Let's try a Sega Genesis. I've already scraped a few things. Let's try Alfred Beast. As you can see, this is a pretty. You can put taxi gas. He, he also shared his uh, case design on the GitHub. Uh, also, I will put the GitHub link and also his Tindy store. He actually sells this kit on the Tindy. You can see. Oh, nice! It's Alfred Beast. Okay, I'm not going to show you a gameplay already. So, see many gameplays. Uh, for this uh, for review, for detailed review, you can check uh, ETA Prime or any other uh, famous YouTube already make a review about this. So, uh, my version, uh, I get the, all the parts except the screen is uh, locally, except for the screen, I get it from AliExpress. And uh, because I don't print the bottom layer, <laughs> I use the top layer as the back and a solder manually two button as a uh, trigger or shoulder button. So as you can see, it works nicely. Uh, I put a one milliamp or one thousand, uh, sorry, one amp or one thousand milliamp battery in there, uh, Raspberry Pi Zero, and it doesn't have sound yet. I will put the sound module later, perhaps if I have uh, time for that. And I'm using the brass spacer or the metal spacer in here. He's using a plastic spacer. Actually, 32 did already sold out the kit on Tindy, and he also made a success successful Kickstarter with this. And this is an awesome project for you to start. Uh, actually, with this kit, I learned to solder SMD components. As you can see, this is all SMDs, uh, and I don't have any trouble uh, soldering all this stuff using my uh, generic soldering iron, and everything is as good as it is. Uh, for the components, uh, there are only maybe three, three passive components. Uh, there are two, res uh, two resistors, one in here and one in the back for the LEDs. And also the LED is also SMD, 0805 LEDs. And also the switch is also SMD components. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, with this uh, for the past week, I've been playing this for a while. The problem is I get, uh, I don't use the good enough battery because I only get two hours of gameplay with this, which is fine, which is fine. I, I'm going to find a replacement battery for this. And so yeah, uh, this is a, a quick overview for the Game Boy Zero handheld edition. Uh, you can check the 32 tit YouTube channel or his GitHub. He actually make another iteration of uh, Game Boy Zero, uh, which is Gabo Zipikayo, which is a uh, a Game Boy Zero on a Game Boy Pocket shell. You can check that on that one out. He will be releasing it later on Tindy. I will put the link down in the description if you're interested. So yeah, this is uh, an overview. So I humbly uh, thank you for Eugene for 32 tit 32 tit <laughs> Sorry for my Indonesian accent. <laughs> I, I get a little bit difficult <laughs> for saying that. Uh, for 32 tit uh, for sharing his PCB design. And I love open source hardware, so I can uh, make this uh, awesome console. And you should also try this one out. So yeah, this is Sandra signing out, and bye-bye.